A drone crashes into a window on the Empire State Building. Another hits an army helicopter over Staten Island. Countless more collide, slam, and smash across the five boroughs, narrowly avoiding mass chaos. So literally, people could die. People could definitely die. Lieutenant Richard Noller ought to know. As a pilot with the NYPD's aviation unit, he takes to the skies daily, tracking and cracking down on the operators of illegally flown recreational drones. Recently, I flew with him and his co-pilot, Officer Anthony Daniels, on patrol. The damage a drone could do, it's just mind-boggling. It, it could be a catastrophic event. The unit can get as many as 10 calls a day about rogue drones. There are a lot of lives at stake when you take a drone and just decide to operate it in this airspace. It's largely prohibited to fly a drone in most of New York City, except these five designated parks. But a number of incidents over the last year, including a drone falling from the sky in Times Square and another smashing into this residential building on the Upper East Side, show clearly people are disregarding the law. You can't take your drone and just stick it in someone's window. You but know? yet you find cases of that. We do. Mm -hmm. All the time. All the time. This is Kennedy Airport, the last place on Earth you want to see a drone, right, Rich? It's the last place on Earth right now I would ever think to operate a drone. And yet, the officers say, it happens all the time, prompting messages like this from air traffic control. This caution for a drone reported about five minutes ago. If it hits the aircraft at the right time, it's a perfect storm. Off in the distance, you can just barely see Drone Force 2. And that thing looks like a little fly to me. In close coordination and cooperation with the NYPD's aviation unit, we launched Drone Force 2 to demonstrate just how difficult it can be for a pilot to even spot a drone. That's a speck in the sky. It would come up on us so fast, we would have little time to react. To catch illegal drone operators, the officers will follow a drone until it lands. The technology on the helicopter is so precise, it allows the officers to pinpoint an exact street address so ground patrol can respond. In most cases, they say, the offenders plead ignorance to the law, and they're yet to come across anyone looking to use a drone for real harm. But late last week, the Department of Homeland Security issued a terror bulletin warning of the potential use of drones. That's something that's always in the back of our mind. And something they train for all the time. We just hope that that never happens. But if it is, the NYPD will be ready for it, so will the aviation unit. Now, if you get caught flying a drone illegally in the city, you could face fines in the thousands of dollars, even charges of reckless endangerment. At least one drone maker is working to make them more detectable and trackable by the police. And we should point out here that uh, our Drone Force 2 pilots are trained, licensed, insured, and they follow all the FAA regulations. But it can be the Wild West out there, mm. illegal throughout the city, except in those five parks, and only 400 feet. Is the, is the ceiling where you're supposed to have them, and people routinely go way past that. What was so telling in your report was the fact that the pilots couldn't see it until it was right there. No, we couldn't see anything. Was, it was like a bug, yeah, and it would, was just right outside the window. It's amazing. Yeah.